Do you ever wanted to be a great emperor and a skilled commander? You will get this opportunity if you use StreamerBot and will not watch this video. You can become a Julius Caesar and the StreamerBot will be your personal Brutus. It can stab you in the back and spill all of your sensitive data. Good evening, everyone. All jokes aside, let's talk security. Although I will be talking about streamer bot in this video, it's also applicable to other bots, just this one is more powerful than others, and therefore more dangerous if used not carefully. In the field of web development, there is a rule of thumb, never trust user input. In case of the streamer bot, you should never trust extension developers, you should only install extensions from trusted sources with an open source. For example, I provide all my extensions on GitHub with all the code, so you can inspect them before importing. Here are some screenshots of what exactly will be imported, and here is JSON files with internal representation. Your actions look like that after you import them. Here is the same actions, but in the streamer bot itself. They are stored in actions JSON. Using some extensions, you can at best get a broken one which uses deprecated methods, and at worst, you can get yourself hacked. Remember when TechYouTuber Linus was hacked? This can be you. Of course, minus fancy house, Porsche Taycan, and funny surveillance footage. Don't forget that streamer bot get pretty much full access to your machine. And as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility. Streamer bot can do pretty much anything a user can do. And if for some reason you're running it as admin, you're just asking for troubles. And if additionally you disabled user control, you're just a madman. What I will show you is actually not so new. It could have happened to anyone a long time ago if they hadn't been careful. But after what I saw in the new alpha, I have significant concerns. As you should know, to import some extensions, you need to grab a special import code in form of a weird string of characters, or in form of a file, which actually just a text file with the same string. This way you don't have to manually recreate all actions, tab actions, comments and triggers. In the current version, after importing the extension, if it contains chat commands, you will get a warning that they will be disabled by default and you need to set desired permissions and enable them. It's basic security measure. Then you can inspect it and understand, to some extent, if it does something harmful. Now let's look at the new alpha. When you import the code, you can get this pop-up. It says that there is a special action, which will be run immediately if you allow it. It's a handy feature for developers. It eliminates the need to explain how to configure an extension. It will just run a setup action which will do it for you. It can ask for your input using the new get input sub action. It will just prompt you with simple instructions. But how we learn from triggers? Pretty much no one reads pop-ups. There was a clear pop-up window after update to the new version explaining what happened to events tab, but still so many people tried to find it, so many people will just press yes and before they even can look at what it imported, they can be in troubles. Let me demonstrate several cases of what can happen. I will be playing a role of Russian hacker who want to steal all of your data. Sorry, I don't have my balalaika and my bear with me, they didn't fit into my luggage, so I have only vodka. But my server is located in Russia. We take things seriously on this channel, you know. For demonstration, I will use simple HTTP server, which will be receiving our data. First attack can be really simple. Steal Twitch credentials, streamer bot client ID and your authorization token. Let me drag this first file, click import and allow auto run. Now let's check logs of our server. Here we can see our data. Using it, you can call any API endpoint, for example, get your stream key, or spam your chat with announcements. That's basically how StreamerBot does its job. It talks and listens to Twitch API on your behalf. 
That's exactly what the screen tells you when you connect your account to Streamer Boot. But who got time to read it? Am I right? This data in the wrong hands can lead to big problems. There is a safeguard for this case. This type of tokens usually short-lived. Twitch Swan expires in 4 hours, so attacker will have only so much time. But it's enough to get you in trouble. But for example, Stream Elements 1 lasts for the whole 7 days. Big ouch. To generate a new token, you need to have a refresh token and a client secret code, which is not exposed on CPH object. And here we are coming to the second attack, stealing authorization file. In data folder of your streamer bot installation, you got auth db file. It contains all of your authorization data for platforms and integrations, including the refresh tokens. But not a client secret, you may say. Oh, I will show you that he doesn't need it. Here attacker got two ways. He can either read this file and send data from it, or just send the whole file. And I'm using this file only as an example. It can be any file on your system, or even network, depending on your setup. Let's import this file and let it run. Check the server logs. Here we can see our data transferred to our server. And with this file imported, we see that file was sent. And if I open it on the server, I can see all the data. With this refresh token, attacker can spawn new authorization tokens. Even if you invalidate the old ones, until you invalidate the refresh token itself. And that's how it's done. I will create a data folder in this new streamer bot install, drop this file in it and start the app. Voila! It thinks that I was logged in here. Now let's grab our current token and invalidate it. Let's check that we lost control over the chat. We can see no new messages in the chat and error in the logs. Now we can just go into account settings, log off and login back and we got ourselves a new token and again can post in the chat. This client secret is integrated into StreamerBot, so attacker just doesn't need to know it. He can just generate the new tokens using app itself and then use it in another tool. If you encounter such attacks, you need to immediately change your passwords and revoke access to the application. It should invalidate all the tokens, at least according to the documentation. For Twitch, you need to click on your profile, then click on Settings, open Connections tab, then scroll down to Other Connections section, locate Streamer Bot Connection and click Disconnect. Also a good idea is to disconnect other compromised integrations. Or you can follow this instruction if you understand how to use it. Using it you can separately revoke access tokens and the refresh token, but it's better to do both. And don't forget to reset your stream key. On Twitch it's in your stream settings, you can access them from your dashboard. This is just a handful of examples what can happen. If you consider that streamer bot can run external programs, have uh, access to a command line and get a whole c -sharp engine under the hood, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Starting from trolling windows and running mouse and all the way to a ransom attack. But I don't want you to get scared or phobic, although it's Halloween season. And of course not to drive you off the streamer bot. I want you to just remember one thing. Always sanitize your input. Read the freaking text. And as always, please the algorithm. Have a good evening and bye bye.